today we are headed to Point Pleasant, West Virginia, home to the legendary monster, the Mothman. Before checking out the center of town, we are going in search of the Mothman in the place where his story first began. As the story goes, a married couple was out at the TNT area. While there, they saw a creature with large wings, red eyes, and apparently no neck that chased them. Today, the TNT area is mostly swampland. There are several pullouts along State Route 62 where you can access trails like this one. Along the trail, there are several old bunkers. Could this be the Mossman's hiding place? We decided to investigate. Look, we found this bunker. It is very dark inside the bunkers, and the safety of the structures is a little questionable. I would not recommend going inside. Although it would appear many people have used it as canvas over the years. While we did not find any evidence of Mothman being about, the area makes for a very nice walk to enjoy nature and take some photos. I wouldn't suggest it for a picnic, however, since it is home to a lot of flying insects. Now, let's make a wish for some good luck on the road and head back into town to see if we can find any more information on Mothman. If you go to the center of Point Pleasant, you will find a statue erected in honor of the legendary monster we have been tracking. The plug that sits at the Mothman's feet raises more questions for us than it answers. Some of the stories concerning Mothman suggest that he was a harbinger of bad omens. In order to investigate one of them, we walked over to the Riverfront Park. Not long after the sightings began, the silver bridge that spanned the Ohio River fell, killing 46 people. The park offers a great view of the river, and we were surprised to find a lot of murals painted along the flood wall depicting the history of the area. There are also creative statues depicting significant historical figures, including one that we would later learn has some connection to the Mothman legend. Still are not satisfied with what we found concerning Mothman, we decided to head over to the one and the only Mothman Museum located at 400 Main Street. The museum offers all sorts of information on everything surrounding the Mothman legend. Along the items in the museum is a report written about the very first Mothman encounter. There are fun customs, men in black, as well as artifacts from the Silver Bridge clubs. There are even several pieces of the bridge itself on display. Some other popular items on display at the museum are pumps from the Mothman Prophecies movie starring Richard Gere. The phone on display was used by him to call Indrid Code. You may also recognize those creepy drawings from the film. After walking through the exhibits, be sure to stop in at the gift shop to pick up a souvenir. Who knows, you may even encounter Mothman flying around. The museum has a lot to digest, but we're heading across the river to the neighboring Ohio town of Goliopolis to look for more. We're also going over because the town has a bubble tea shop with great readings. This city, also known as the French city, is a town that the Silver Bridge connected to. It is an old city as American cities go. 
and has a beautiful park if you are looking for a place for a picnic or just to get out of the car. It doesn't look like Mothman is hiding in any of the trees. So that's just enjoying the beauty of the park before getting some bubble tea. Nothing like a park bench for some simple reflection. It's hot out, so let's jump in the car and go get that bubble tea. This place is somewhat popular, so you may find it busy depending on what time of day you go in. They offer many flavors and many items to add to your bubble tea. They also have games set out to play while you wait for your tea. We have got the tea, so let's give it a try. You this one? Yes, a bit sour. Thirst quenched and cooled down, we're heading back to Point Pleasant to visit the State Farm Museum. This route happens to take us over the Civil Memorial Bridge, which was built to replace the original bridge that fell. Let's move quickly to get to solar ground. I mean, really, let's get over the bridge a bit faster. The farm is not far from the TNT area where we started out. The State Farm Museum is a great place to see some old buildings and farm equipment. I can imagine migrating workers making their way along the highway, stopping off for a while to make some money. Don't forget to pick up a map of the farm exhibits when you register. The farm has everything a worker could ever need, right down to the old country store. Have a look at all the antique equipment around. Just past the store is an old church with a bell outside. It has a very humble appearance, but I'm sure the farmhands enjoyed the community they felt gathering there. The equipment here is a good example of just how hard farming was before industrialized equipment. There are also several old homes on the farm to look at. Speaking of industrialized farm equipment, check out those old tractors they have lined up. It is quite a collection. Let's head back into town for one last stop on our search for Mossman. This spot doubles as the site of the first battle of the American Revolution, according to some sources. Welcome to To Eddie Way State Park. Before looking around, let's take a look inside the old Mansion House Museum. Entry is free, and they have a lot of historical items on display. This mannequin is not something I would want in my bedroom. There are several floors to explore, including a basement.
in the attic, you will find several interesting displays with historical artifacts from the area. This granite marker was built to honor the people who died in the battle that took place here back in 1774. It features the frontiersmen who took part in the battle. There is also a very old petroglyph to look at. And finally, Chief Cornstalk's grave. He was the Native American chief who fought on the other side of the battle. Some stories say he cursed the people. Others even connect his curse with the mouse man. But it was likely just a story. I hope you enjoyed the visit to Point Pleasant, West Virginia. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching, see you next time.